It finally arrived. Today's the day the Warren Davis edition of Qbert came in from New Wave Games. Been looking forward to this for a couple months. Uh, first impressions are very good. Feeling really confident about this. Let me kind of take you through the whole process. Got the package in just yesterday and I was able to open it today. Kind of really excited to see if it actually had the signature for Warren Davis. So uh, here's a look at the box. Uh, the audio that I originally recorded for this uh, was compromised, so you're going to have to hear me audio dub talking about my gut and how this is hanging over the edge so you get to see all the best parts of me. Uh, I opened this up with my Ulfla blade, which I open up with all of my products. I've had this since 1987. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm opening up both sides and uh, what I try to do is I, when I cut across the middle, of course, because you have no idea what's on the inside, you kind of lift it up a little bit just so you don't damage all the insides. Put the label over to you know, so you didn't see my number. Oh, by the way, also my arms here are uh, completely damaged. I'm doing a lot of house repairs and uh, we have a dog and a cat, actually two dogs and a cat, which you'll see. I don't know why I'm talking about that. I'm unboxing here. Uh, you'll see that this is a oh, it's 11, almost 12 inch uh, high, four inch wide, five inch deep. That's about two and a half pounds. This is a little bit lighter than the Dragon's Letter machine, which you'll see later. And there she is. There's the Hubert pulled out. Looks really nice. Limited edition 12 inch play scale arcade machine from New Wave Toys. This is in plastic wrap. I wasn't sure. Uh, you'll see, was it flip it over? Very shiny. Nothing's on the shrink wrap. It's just completely plain. But uh, the graphics are very glossy. So it looked like they were say, actually sitting on top. You'll see that this is all damaged here. So I didn't know if they had re shrunk wrapped this. So I still was kind of excited that it had. The signature on it. I'm like, oh, good. It's a terrible shrink job. <laughs> Maybe it has the signature. So uh, as we go through the process of opening up, you'll see exactly how glossy these stickers are. There's the cat, uh, and there's my gut, and there's a dog. Good lord, there's one dog. There's one cat. Uh, get to look at all sides of this. Uh, HD TV compatible. This has six different, or no, sorry, five different uh, translations of the instructions or what it's all about. And then, uh, yeah, no, let's just crack open this. This is a standard issue box. Oh, you'll see that like the logos are off a bit. This kind of had imperfections built in. So New Wave wanted to make sure it got the, you know, everyone is unique kind of treatment. Uh, love this artwork. Absolutely love it. Uh, couldn't be happier with the look of this. Uh, opening it up, see it has the Oh, Cuba right on top. And you know, things are kind of moved around here. So I kind of was really excited about the the potential that this could be. Uh, that was out of place from where it should be. Here's the uh, charging cable. I was really looking forward to seeing if this could be signed. Because again, it would be a nice little thing to have to my collection. All right, now we take this out. I got Cuba up my feet. Uh, there's a hole in the back here. And you'll see why that's there, just so it didn't do any damage to the case. Slide this bad boy out. All right, and you know, we're gonna do a quick inspection to see if it does have any signatures. At first glance, it does not, but it's still kind of put together pretty, you know, haphazardly. Love the grill on the top, the little grate on the top is pretty slick. Uh, bottom from Gottlieb. Uh, you'll see the, yeah, game over stickers off center. Uh, and you'll see some treatments here that are like the, Oh, there's the lock on the back. You'll see there's looks like scuff marks all over and the paint treatment's irregular. Again, they really tried to capture the feel that this was a unit from that time. This is a prototype. This is the, again, the more difficult Warren Davis edition. Uh, yeah, there's the scuff paint. Let's see if I can get it in here in the light. There it is. And you can see it when it hits the light right. Like just a little bit of wear and tear where it shouldn't be. But again, that's by design. And there's like little marks all over. Uh, I like the screw marks where the screw holes are supposed to be. Those are pretty slick. You'll see it in the rotation coming up. Really interesting. This is gonna be fun because I'm gonna do a voiceover of what I was talking about. And I have no idea. Oh, and I get to take the nice screens off, the screen protectors off. Here it is looking up close. I haven't taken any of the plastic off yet. Uh, the lock box on the back. I don't know if that's for the knocker or what, but yeah, you'll see a scuff marks a little bit better here and a little bit better light. Just a little bit roughed up around the edges. 
and looking at a close up, you can really see how nice this is. Uh, sounds fantastic. Uh, color is really good, just like the Dragon's Lair machine I got earlier. This really doesn't capture it well. I'm capturing this on a smaller device, but uh, just spectacular looking recreation of a cabinet. Something I always wanted to have in my place growing up. You see like the stains all over it. I love it. Uh, caution sticker on there. Could you, uh, oh, accurate sounds. This one's the harder version. So you'll see that those discs move. There you go, right up the side. Very, it's fast. The, each level has a different level of difficulty, whereas before you could get through four levels and then it would advance. This one, every level has something new to offer. Just the marquee is beautiful. It has the uh, Warren Davis kind of text in there. This is swear words. Nice little lock up on the back. As for your innards, you've got your high voltage warning, but it's just basically two little USB ports, HDMI port. Again, another great replicate from New Wave Toys. I don't know what else to say about them. They're doing a fantastic job with all of these. Every one of these recreations is is near arcade perfect. Really brings me back to my childhood, and I couldn't be happier with the, with the work they're doing. Actually, I could be happier that they wouldn't re-release Dragon's Lair, that I'd have to buy a second one, which I probably am not. But still, I wish they would have just limited it to one. Anyways... That's a quick walkthrough and an unboxing of my Hubert. Hope you enjoyed it. See you all in the next one.